Good morning, guys. It's, hey, it's Tuesday, but it's my Sunday. So we are about to head up the coast to a guitar center where my good friend Alfred actually is a guitar tech. So we're going to get this beauty completely set up and ready to play right after we get some breakfast. All right, I'll see you there. So guys, this is my good friend Alfred, guitar tech here at Guitar Center. He's going to help us set up this guitar. Tell me a bit about your, uh, your first step here, Al. Well, I'm going to just take some specialized files here to cut these grooves down so that the strings sit not a mile away from the first fret. <laughs> Alright, let's make it happen. I don't know, see, this one is a mile away. We might have to end up popping it out, shaving it from the bottom up. Just because it's going to get so fragile up here when it starts getting through there. Yeah, it wouldn't be good, would it? But the good thing is, is with cutting those grooves, I actually can custom groove curvature to match that, mm -hmm. which is what I just did. Nice. I'm thinking though it's just going to be best to pop this puppy out since it's so shallow in there mm -hmm. and reset it. Yeah, it's barely in there. Perfect. And that's good because now actually we know we can really glue it in there properly. Oh yeah. Alright, so Beautiful. Alright. Now that we took some of that height out of there, now we can do the fine tuning of the slots without having to risk and getting too deep. So, let's just check where we are currently. I am actually cutting at an angle too. You don't want to be cutting flat. You actually want to have the groove going this way so mm -hmm. that you actually have a break point at the front of the nut that falls off behind it. Cool. Back to bull height. I can do the rest of the neck and then come back and fine tune those if need be. Now I just check the straightness of the neck. It's got too much relief in it, so I need to tighten the truss rod. I want to get just like right there, just the point where I feel a catch. And that'll be a good point to start off with. 
Beautiful. Flat neck is what we want. All right. We're in the home stretch now. So now that the neck has been tightened and those have been brought down, the action here has gotten way lower just because the neck has flattened itself out. So I had to bring this up a little bit. What are you doing there? Just stretching the strings? Stretching the strings out, getting all the pre-tension out of them from the you know, manufacturing set. When I tune it up, it stays in tune. There's always going to be some settling with strings, but this helps them settle quicker. Oh, well, the neck is uh, exactly where we want it, just a little bit of relief. Usually if you hold down the first and last fret, you'll see a slight gap. And that's what you want. You don't want dead flat, because that's just going to end up buzzing. You want a tiny little bit of relief for the flexing of the strings. And ours is actually perfect, so. Now, intonation point. And funny enough with that you had issues with the whole bridge placement and stuff with this one because your intonation is dead on. Sweet. So that all worked out quite well, which is one of the biggest fears when building a guitar because that's a very critical point. But this actually lined up quite well. It's dead on. All right, so now a little play test just to see how we got going up and down the neck. It plays spectacular reaction. bad for a slough, huh? It turned out spectacular. have turned against me I am alone so many running and screaming I'm crying out can you hear me I refuse to believe that magic is dead there has to be more than the conflict in my head dear princess help me find a way to defeat the chaos rising I'm a bass player. That was an attempt at ACDC. Um, but with that, guys, we're we're here. We have a working guitar, and it's awesome and amazing. And here, watch this clip of somebody who can actually play.
sounds cool. Video. Awesome. <laughs> Wow, isn't he awesome? Makes this thing sing, where I make it cry in bad ways. <laughs> but with that, we're done. And this has been an epic project. Thanks a lot for coming along for the ride. Um, this, this thing is spectacular and I'm so proud of it. And hopefully you guys enjoyed watching me build it for you. Um, with that, I'll see you guys at all the cons coming up this summer, and hopefully I'll have this with me that you can check out. And with that, we're out of here. All right? Check my channel for more stuff. We're going to start with a cooking show. We're going to do some more stuff. Still not sure what I'm doing with uh, Steve Brony, my friends, but that will be coming soon. With that, love you guys, and we'll catch you later. Come on, Dusty, learn this stuff. What was the power chord of the B? You're still here. It's finished. It's over. Go home.